okay welcome to this program I want to very quickly show you uh, how you can use the Google Hang Hangout with the plugin to run your live Hangout event now while your dashboard just go to G Hangout click on it and it takes you to the Hangout plugin dashboard Here you are. So when you get here, see action. Under action, you have view, edit, delete, live, or subscriber. Now, our concern here, right? Of course, we want to go live is to click on the edit. That's where you go to click on edit. All right. Now, here you see Hangouts. Now, Countdown is what you have here, live button, replay button, close button. Now the countdown button is in blue color right now, telling you that is the one that is live right now. That's the one that's active now, meaning visitors going to this Hangout live URL here, what they will see is a countdown to the event. For instance, if I click here, it opens on the next page. So when visitors uh, click on the link you send them, this is what they see. This is an event, my first Google Hangout event that I want to run, uh, okay, uh, by next week on the precisely 26th of November. So that is what that is. But if I change it to live, okay, when I click on live, it will now bring out. If once you click, it will bring out the live event. When the live event is over, I you, you move, click to make replay active. That's the one that will show. If you make close active, that's the one that will show. Okay, so now you want to run go live. That's what our concern is here. So click on this. But before you do that, be sure that you have already downloaded the Hangout app, app from the app link. So just scroll, come to the bottom here, Hangout app link. Click on it. You want to download and install the Hangout app if you have not installed it yet. So click here. If you have installed it, the next page that will open is what you have. If you have not installed it, it will download and then ask you to install. You just follow the instructions. Now it will ask you to add people to this video call. That is if you have already installed. Now I am not going to add anybody. So all I'll just do, I'll click on cancel. Okay, now if you see here, it said microphone is not working. So you will need to use your uh, that's the headset to run with your to run your live event. Because me uh, uh, talking to my computer, my record uh, my recorder here can pick it best. If I'm running a live event, I will need to use this. Okay, I will need to use this. Okay, good. Now it's asking me here now to invite people. I still don't want to invite people. Now you see here, this is the Google uh, the Hangout plugin chat app which is what you are seeing here. If I click on this, it will go. Alright, so I want it to be there. So it's there. Now this is where I can uh, communicate with this plugin on my site. Now this place is for Google Effects. Alright, but I will not working on that. You can take your time and play around that. Or this on Google Hangout. Now this is for YouTube. If I want to go to YouTube to pick any video to uh, you know, play, I'll just click here. This is for capturing. Now, while this one is to share, screen share, we want to share what you have on your desktop. All right, you click here. So when you click here, it will allow you to whatever you have open on your desktop, you can actually pick it and begin to show your viewers. While this place is for you to chat while uh, the, the your your presentation is on, here you can they can ask you questions from the chat. You can ask them questions. You can communicate with them through chat. You know from here. Okay good now uh, that's that now we come here if you want to add people here if you want to mute the microphone here if I don't want me to show here I want to change this to this picture that is on my Google account all I'll do is to click on this place and then to change to that all right uh, this is for connection and all that down this is for the settings if I want to end this video call just click on this it will end it all right you click this this will take you to, you know, just like settings. So I'll delete this. 
Good. Now I this okay for me now. Now I want to go to YouTube to pick a video from YouTube. It will connect. That if you now want to show, if you want to show from your video that you already have on your YouTube, you are going to use this. So I'm going to click this. Just take the instructions there now. You ask me what do I want to pick? What do I want to choose? Videos, okay? For from here, I can now search, you know, where I want it and show it and put it there and then search. Uh, for example, let me look at. Uh, I think I have. Euro USD. We okay, have Euro USD trading bias for November seventeen, seventeen to twenty two. Okay. All right. See the video I want to put in there. So I click on it. Good. All right. Now, as it is now, I have this here. So take this away. Hello. Welcome to this. Now, this is being transmitted live to your viewers. If that's what you want. Okay. Now, also, if I want to talk while this is playing. I can push this button and I will start talking and they will be hearing me. But if I want to do that, that means I must have my uh, headset. Otherwise, I, I, you know, uh, they will hear you. So I want to remove, uh, you know, uh, stop talking. So let them just listen to the video that's playing. So this is if I want to use an old recorded video. This is playing live. So those who come for the well, a Hangout event, they will be watching and seeing this displayed live that way that means you have your pre-recorded event and then you are there live watching also so if they have any questions all right they will know if you did it now if this is something you have recorded and there's no time there they will not know whether you pre-recorded it because you are there live they also can ask you questions and you can reply reply their questions so that if you want to do it live you want it to be live stop Oh, okay. Now, if I want to do a live recording, this is not. Um, I, I, I don't. I don't want to use an old video. I want to record live. All I would remove this so that it will be live. Now, I want it to be on my desktop. That means you want to show what is on your desktop. That means that is now. I have to go on. Go to share screen share. There, you now pick whatever it is you want to demonstrate you just pick it and the system begins to show it so pick whatever it is you want to pick and go ahead and okay so assuming i want to let's say i want to pick on something here it just opens for me so i'll just begin to work on whatever it is that i am working on now i you know i've hit this information here for purpose so I could pick whatever it is I want to now do and start doing them and obviously they will be seeing it live all right so that is how to record now when you are done with your event you have uh, you know to bid farewell to your attendees of course you can now end the call the video call here and tell them goodbye any questions they have they ask you you answer them so i end the call by clicking here and the video call ends okay now once i'm done with that that's it it's over and that is just it okay so when someone registers and the chat is on once they click on that the chat console they can come you can communicate with them all right so that's how this actually works Alright, so if there's anyone online, you can chat with them like I did some chatting some days ago, you know, just me, you know, testing things out. Alright, you can chat here. So whenever, if anybody is on the site and registering and it's asking any question, you can just pursue it immediately and reply them live. This is how to use this. And it's a very powerful and robust software. And you can host unlimited number of attendees. 
do more monthly fees. Thank you and God bless you.